man that is a very nice chapter we just seen get brought up chapter 388 by author for dante of haiku and quite frankly i'm enjoying the manga as it is we get some action on the court you see kagiyami doing his thing as usual and quite frankly i will say one of the most impressive things as of this moment is that kagiyama's team even though he's not the captain i I don't know how to pronounce his team is winning we get to see some interesting perspectives from other players such as hinata um atsumo mia kagiyama bagato etc now one thing i thought that was very well interesting about this chapter is the idea of how everyone almost essentially changed Hinata changed with his skill sets Bakuto has become as you know amazing as ever same as Sakuza same as Mia but what's even more important in this chapter is how Kagiyama analyzes those characters as it has been shown in the chapter Kagiyama since he loves volleyball so much is able to particularly express how he thinks each individual on the opposing team is and what their strengths are and because he is essentially facing against them he not only feels admiration for them but he is feeling as though that he could even become better overall because of that admiration even in the beginning of the chapter even showed like a small page back flashback with a page on how his father said essentially that you know you will find greater opponents well those greater opponents is the team that he's going against right now another thing that i thought was pretty great was the chapter well this is the chapter (laughs) i'm sorry but basically the pages where it was discussing how maybe kageyama and hushimi would be able to do the quick attack now the thing is as expressed by that character i already forgot please don't hurt me is that even though they could possibly do it um they essentially don't really want to do it because hoshimi doesn't necessarily rely on speed but essentially relies mostly with more aerial time so the longer the ball is in the air and positioned correctly the better he is and we can see that when he scores his point another thing which is very interesting is how connected kageyama's team really is We see that in the chapter, they were able to do a synchronized attack. And with that synchronized attack, all the players on that court is a powerhouse on his side of the team. You have um, Hoshimi himself, you know, who's able to do technical spikes all over the place. You have Kageyama who basically is a well-rounder who specializes in setting but can do all the other stuff you have the captain on the team who was the brother of that other individual from camo mad his name is escape me oh hirogami okay and then you have a worldwide world athlete player nicholas romero just coming out of nowhere and dominating and from that synchronized attack with all the powerful volleyball players all the players on the opposing court Hinata, Bakuto, Sakuza, Mia they're drawn in while (laughs) Kageyama just does his usual tricks and just not touch the ball at all the ball is just in the air and it looks like he's gonna set but he just doesn't set he just lets the ball go on the opposing side and they score a point which you know what funny enough i got drawn in it too because 
Fro Dante is such a great author that when he makes his panels, when he makes his drawings, he's able to make you get into the game, get you into the player's mind and make you think, oh my God, what should I do next? What should I do? What should I not do? What is this player going to do, etc.? And funny enough, <laughs> there's always a dump that's just lurking around the corner that you just got to be aware of. And of course, they're pissed. Mia did it, you know, a couple chapters ago, I think last chapter or two chapters. And the dump is obviously the most annoying <laughs> spike someone could do. Well, yeah, spike, what have you. Anyways, that's the review for chapter 388. Don't forget to, you know, like, subscribe, and comment. That is all.